This is BBC World News. I'm Matthew Emery Waller on today's global growing international alarm at the crisis in Ethiopia. With millions trapped in a desperate, escalating situation, a major diplomatic effort is underway to defuse the civil war. Fighting has intensified, the rebels closing in on the capital. The Prime Minister has urged people to take up arms. Now there's a wave of arrests. Exactly a year after the war in northern Ethiopia began, there is still no end in sight. In fact, it's moving fast southwards and approaching the city, the capital of Addis Ababa. The US Special Envoy has arrived in the country. Regional leaders also step up their diplomatic efforts. Can a ceasefire be negotiated? Also on the program. A world first, a pill designed to treat COVID is approved by the UK medicines regulator. Consigning coal to history, more than 40 countries pledged to end its use, but major producers, including China and India, are not signed up. And a man is charged with kidnapping a four-year-old Australian girl as police release dramatic audio of the moment she was found. What's your name? Yeah. What's your name? What's your name, sweetheart? Um, my name is Cleon. Hello and welcome to today's Global and we start with the intensifying international efforts to stop the escalating war in Ethiopia. The US Special Envoy has arrived in the country, Kenya's president has called for an immediate ceasefire and the UN Secretary General has said his offices would help to create the conditions for dialogue. It is a year since the conflict started, thousands have been killed and the country is suffering one of the world's worst humanitarian crises.